Hey everyone, we are back again for another Thrifty Tip Thursday. And today, this one is kind of close to my heart because we'll be talking about some items um, that are actually from my home state of Wisconsin. But before we get to that, in case you're tuning in for the first time, this is where I tell you about lots of different products that you can find all the time um, on a regular basis in all your thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, and they sell on multiple multiple platforms and they sell on a regular basis so if you're looking for a regular source of income if you watch all these videos and you start incorporating all of these items into your store you should see some regular sales um, coming in so this is great if you're just starting out or maybe you're someone that just does need to rely a little bit more on your online income um, so you can go ahead and watch all the videos and hopefully these tips will work for you as well so let's get started and talk about today's Thrifty Tip Thursday. So today I wanted to start talking about small appliances. Now this type um, of uh, item is not for everyone. You can see we have this wok, we have this larger box that has a popcorn maker. You're going to need storage for these kinds of items. We are going to talk today specifically about the West Bend products. These are vintage products, although when I tell you a little bit about their history, um, you'll see that this company does exist in certain ways still under a slightly different name, so you can still find um, some of there are newer items out there that are not vintage so these also sell really well um, so for those of you into the cookware and those types of things um, you will be able to see some of that and watch out for that at any of your sales as well um, so before I tell you too much about these products I want to give you a little bit of history on them and of course she has to lay right here where I need to go come on there um, so the West Bend Company, um, you can look them up online. I actually grew up just outside um, of West Bend, Wisconsin, and my mom actually worked for this company. Um, so this one has always been really close to my heart. Um, their products stand the test of time, and that's why people still want them today. They do not make products um, like this today uh, for you to, um, you know, that don't break really Really easily so people are always looking for this particular brand so the West Bend company made aluminum cookware and electrical appliances now they had an engine division and that's a whole other story and oh my gosh that is really really lucrative um, but as you can see here, there's a little bit of history listed. Um, in 2001, the Regal Ware Company in Kewaskum, Wisconsin, um, acquired part of the West Bend Company. And in 2003, they sold off those small kitchen appliance division um, to this place called Focus Products. But they retained the West Bend Cookware Division. So if you see any cookware under the name Lifetime, or Royal Queen, this is still part of that extended West Bend company, and I'll show you in a little bit just how much some of that more modern day cookware gets. Um, but let's go back to some of these products. The West Bend company and several other companies um, make hot air popcorn poppers. Now I'm sure the majority of you had one of these when you were younger or knew someone that did. Did you know that you can roast coffee beans in here. If you look at my listings on Etsy, you will see that I have that in the title. So it isn't just for popcorn, you can also roast coffee beans. And that's part of the popularity of these hot air poppers um, because they serve that dual purpose. This particular model, um, sells for a good deal of money. I'm going to show you that in a little bit. Um, usually on these larger appliances like this, you're looking at $75 and up. Now this wok, I am sure you have all seen this at some sales. This is a pretty standard um, piece that a lot of people had. This one is in great condition. Look at that. This was made in the 70s. And just look at how nice that still is. Um, so of course, this is extremely bulky to ship. It's going to cost probably $35 to $45 in shipping. Sometimes I list these on eBay instead of Etsy 
because if you sell on Etsy, you know that their deal with FedEx is not as good as eBay. You don't get the same good discount. Um, and Pirate Ship lately for me, when I check that for shipping, um, isn't all that much different than um, your USPS prices. It just depends what you're shipping and in what kind of box and if you can fit it into the box in the bag. So someday we'll go over those tips with shipping. Um, but the two biggest things to watch out for are like the walk. Um, and the hot air popper. I brought those two examples today. I'm actually sold out of a lot of my cookware and some of the other things we're going to talk about, which are also very hot items. Um, so let's go over and check some of those out. I wanted to talk about the coffee urns. Now who, raise your hand out there in cyber world, went to a church gathering and saw the large coffee industrial type percolator urns. Look at the price on some of these. Now West Bend Company did specialty deals um, with a lot of companies so you'll see some out there like there's this one that sold for about $150 was specifically for the um, Chevrolet Corporation. But look at some of the other industrial ones. Now I've seen these a lot. These are all selling for over $100. They are bulky to ship. If you can get these at a good price, under $20, I would probably pick them up. But then there's more standard ones like this, like a 30 cup um, vintage 1960s. Um, there's some smaller urns like this that you can pick up and they also sell for a good amount of money. So if you can pick these up at a cheaper price, generally under 20, 15, 20 dollars, these are a really good buy. Um, now here is what I was talking about with the West Bend Company when they sold off their rights to Regal, Regal Wear, um, and they, um, or was it, sorry, let me check here, because I want to get, yes, to the Regal Wear Company, because there's also Rival. Um, so the Regal Wear Company now runs a line that is called Lifetime or Royal Queen, and look at how much a used set of the Lifetime cookware is selling for so still a huge amount of money um, in used cookware in their current um, brand that they sell uh, through that company but let's go back to the vintage okay so West Bend company made enamel wear and if you know anything about cookware enamel wear is always a really really good buy um, so we have a lot of different kinds of cookware here you can see um, some of these are new, some are used. We'll go over to the used because that's most often what we would find out there. And you can see here's a used set. Now they're calling this vintage. It's not. 2003 is not vintage. Um, so this cookware is from 2003 or later. Um, so some people incorrectly, you know, list that. But still worth picking up, definitely. And let's go through. I see this green um, stock pot skillets saucepans all the time out there and look at here's a nice set 130 dollars so the list goes on there's lots of different like uh roaster pans you know here over a hundred dollars for a turkey roaster pan my mom actually had this one um lots of other aluminum ware as we go down here and you can see um, some of the prices on there. They also made these with the designs on you'll see that a lot out there and those as you can see are also in demand um so that just gives you an idea on that. And I wanted to show you a little bit about the West Bend popcorn makers. Now the best popcorn makers that you can find out there are the Stir Crazy. Well over $100, um, they're going in pre-owned condition. Now here is the original poppery. Now I have the poppery too, um, which isn't a big difference. It sells just as well. But this gives you an idea. Look at the prices. We're bordering on about $100 on one of these used. So here we go with the poppery. There's the round globe one. Here's some more popcorn makers. They made a lot of different kinds of hot air poppers. Um, so you can just go through. They are worth picking up. I would definitely pick it up, probably even if it was under 20. I try to stay under 15. Most of these I actually pick up for four, five, six dollars. So lots and lots of good items in here. This is a brand always worth looking up, 
always worth picking up on most items. Do your research. Um, I hope this gives you a good idea of where to start on small vintage appliances. Um, also some modern in there. And I hope to see you next week for another episode. Please let me know if you're finding these things. I'd love to see what you're selling and what you're finding as well. Have a great Thursday.